hello and welcome again let's see the modification of the cdd how we can do that and how we can handle if there is any error in the data store so we will go here again and we will see the structure of this table first so there is one more thing which we need to understand before we see how we can modify the uh, cdd or database table if there is any modification so one thing which we need to understand that in the database table we can create multiple tape columns right and there can be multiple columns and there can be columns which we are not using and we are not we have not created inside the cdt so that will be not anything that will be not an error right so in which scenario the error will come the error will come in this scenario where we are having columns in the cdt but we are not having that mapping and the column itself in the database table right because everything whatever we are doing we are doing here in the designer right we are using the cdt to refer refer that field so if the field is there in the cdt but it's not there in the database to write the data then it will be an issue but if the data in the database there are some extra columns and that columns is not there in cdt so we will not able to refer them and there will not be any error right so to understand this i will directly go and remove this or let's say i will remove this updated by column right so now i have removed this column here and the column is there inside the database table right so it's a condition where error will not come and i will refresh my data store and i will see the verify you can see there is no issue but if the column is there let's say if the column is active is there inside my cdt and i have deleted the column here from the database i am dropping this is active and now i will try to check my data store to see if the mapping is correct or not then i am getting the error and this is how we can take a look at this error you can see missing column is active in the table right so this is how we need to understand this and how we can resolve this issue and to resolve this issue first of all we have like two options either we can also remove this uh, is active column from here or i can add a column which is is active i can add one column after updated by and go and i can name this as is active integer and tiny integer one and null as yes and save so now my column is sorted i will again refresh this and i will verify this and it is done i will save and publish again so this is one thing how we can handle the error of cdt right but there is one more thing where we need to modify the xsd part for example there is a condition or there is a requirement where we need to modify the length of this expense detail i need to make it to 1000 so how i can do that so in that scenario we need to modify the xsd file so let's see how we can do that in our next lecture